EU regulators have approved the coronavirus vaccine developed by BioNTech and Pfizer for use in Europe. It's the first COVID-19 vaccine to be authorized by the European Medicines Agency and could be rolled out before the end of the year. The shot is already in use in Britain and the United States. The agency says there's nothing to suggest the vaccine will not work against the new mutant strain of the virus, which has emerged in the UK. The European Commission must still rubber stamp the decision before the inoculation can be rolled out across the 27 EU member states. Let's cross straight to Max Sanda to get the view from Brussels. Max, there you are. When can we expect these vaccines to be available across European countries? Right. Once uh, this uh, administrative hurdle is out of the way, the EMA has given their approval. Now it's up to the Commission to decide uh, if uh, they give the, the green lights um, for the vaccine. This is likely going to happen uh, later tonight. That's what Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said already. And then it's up uh, to the member states to start with the distribution. The European Commission came up with a vaccinating plan. Um, uh, according to this plan, vaccinations should, should start uh, across Europe on December 27th, 28th, and 29th. Germany, for example, is going to start vaccinating on December 29th. And the Netherlands, uh, compared to that, uh, due to technical uh, issues, won't start vaccinating until the beginning of January. The EMA is one of the last big medical approval agencies to give the vaccine the go-ahead. Why has it taken so long? Well, it did take a bit longer than uh, the UK uh, and the US, for example, but these countries went for the emergency approval. All in all, the EMA approval went quite fast. Um, uh, they decided to do a more uh, um, uh, close, they to decided to take a closer look at, uh, at all the data. And the upside here is that they know what the, they have more confirmation. They have confirmation on most aspects regarding uh, safety and effectiveness, and they had more time to review uh, the evidence. And this will actually also help convince people to uh, take the shot at the end of the day. Now, the question is, of course, why did the EU not go for the uh, emergency approval? There's many reasons to it. One of most, the most important reason is that this would not break the dynamic of the pandemic, because even if we had started vaccinating a week or two weeks earlier, there still wouldn't have been enough vaccine to cater to everybody. The EU has come under a lot of fire, not only for taking quite long, but also for not buying enough doses of the vaccine. Um, the Commission bought half of what BioNTech Pfizer offered them. Why is that and how could that affect immunization efforts? Um, there are many reasons for this. Uh, the EU um, decided to uh, secure um, doses of uh, vaccines, of d many different kinds of vaccines, um, months ago at the beginning of the pandemic to make sure they would have uh, the, um, the vaccine ready for, for, the, for the member states. So they made contracts with indiv individual companies, six of them. Now, back in the day, it wasn't clear which vaccine would prove, um, would prove, uh, um, would, would uh, go through fastest with their approval, which would uh, prove uh, effective. And uh, this is one of the reasons why they also spread out. Also, another reason uh, is that um, this uh, vaccine, Pfizer-BioNTech, is uh, the most expensive one, quite expensive compared to AstraZeneca, for example, another, uh, man another manufacturer of vaccines that is uh, due to get approval uh, in the beginning of next year. And um, some of the uh, European uh, Union states, uh, particularly the Eastern European states, um, decided to push for the more cheaper versions. All right, Maxana in Brussels, thank you very much for your analysis.